Hello YouTube, today we'll be learning how to create a softbox in 3DX Max. There have been a lot of tutorials on the, on YouTube um, about how to create a softbox, but uh, you are using V-Ray or you're using Cinema 4D. But in this tutorial, I'll be teaching you how to use Mental Ray to create a softbox in 3DX Max. And it goes us. This is what your render looks with. This is um, a render without a softbox. So yeah, I'm going to be showing you how to create a softbox. It's quite simple. And it goes us. I'll go to my front view. I'll create uh, Mr. Sky Portal. That's a mentally Sky Portal. I call it Mr. Sky Portal a lot. So I drag my viewports just to create one. So I try and position it. But I'll make sure I place it behind my camera. just position it properly technically so this is our softbox this is just a, a, a sky portal mental sky portal without the attributes of a softbox so to make it a softbox I would go to my modify panel from there I'll scroll down to advanced parameters then in the color source that's it on that advanced parameter in the color source you make sure you change it from use existing skylights to custom to custom that's important then on custom you click the map on um, the none there's a button called not none name none there just click it then it opens um, your material editor then we we'll scroll down in this tutorial, I'm going to be using the Kevin temperature color to simulate our softbox. So the moment I click it, the Kevin temperature stays uh, shows up in my map for my scar portal. Then uh, I can increase my multiplier. Let's say um, let's say ten. Okay. So. So I can try, let's do a test render right away. I'm going, okay. Can see how realistic it's looking. How realistic our softbox is looking, can see um, the realism can see that okay can okay let me just pause the video at this point pause my video so let's finish rendering okay so um here we have a, a render with the softbox and one more thing to um do to make it more of a softbox now it's just the light it's just the light that is using this Kevin temperature and it's giving all this realistic feel very realistic render but there is one more thing to do because we want to make it look more like a studio lighting so the reflection shows on our objects that have reflections so to do that all I need to do is switch on visible to renderer so now that I've placed it behind my camera it won't show up in my render but it will show up on the objects so let's see that but before that let's clone this one as well so we can compare later now I'll render again And I have to post my video at this point. Okay, so we have a, a, a um, finished a, um, our rendering, so we can now see the effect of the studio lighting on our objects. You can see it now; it's now visible to renderer, and you can see how sweet the render looks. So that's basically how to create a, a softbox in 3ds Max in just few steps. So we went from this to this and finally went to this
this is our final render so thanks for watching so if you have any questions suggestion let me know don't forget to comment and subscribe have a great day hope to see you next time